Okay, so I just stocked up with some energy drinks, so I'm ready to start. And I figured I would just also mention that uh, I will be driving in Echo Pro mode. And um, I, I will have a light foot on a throttle, so I will drive as easy as possible to maximize the range. I think I will keep the temperature about um, between 19 and 21, maybe. Uh, my heated seats don't really work. They are up for another video. They work for a few minutes, but then they turn off after getting like blistering hot. So I will save that for a cold part of the trip. Okay, so I just want to show you how far I've gone so far. One kilometer and what kind of range that I'm having. So I'm having a the gasometer is showing me 182, 183 kilometers um, so far in the beginning. And I will keep comparing that along the test. Quick update, just past 80% and um, I've done about um, 40 kilometers in 20% of the battery. So that means that I should have a theoretical, theoretical range of 200 kilometers. But we know that's not going to be true, so let's keep driving and see how much it drops. Yeah, I guess I would go that, that fast too if I had a dinosaur car. Welcome to the future, driving slow. Well, one thing is for sure, you're gonna have patience if you're gonna drive at 90 kilometers per hour. Oh, and before we get too far, don't forget to like this video, guys. That helps a lot for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, I know most of you don't really want to watch the video till the end so here I'm gonna give you the preview of what the result might be did you see that change there that went fast it's snow now yeah really snowy so that's nice that went fast okay so that was the end of a long video and I just made it to my charger and this is what I have left. I have about two kilometers left, two percent. So as you see, I've done 165 kilometers. So that's what I would call the range in these conditions. So 165 kilometers and I drove for just over two hours, which is uh, quite a long time. That's long enough for me. So if you think that like it's a problem like driving two hours and then taking a break, well then maybe you need a bigger battery. But if two hours is enough for you, then this might be the car for you. Uh, my consumption was 171 watt hour per kilometer, which is here in the BMW it says it in kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So it's just a different scale. But uh, I think that range was, I, I think it was okay. It's not super good. So it was expected in the beginning to be about 183 kilometers. And I lost about 20 kilometers, 18 kilometers, something like that, during the drive. That didn't. So, so the gasometer was a little bit off, but it's not that much. It's like 10% or something. That's a lot, actually. I don't know. What do you think about this test? Leave a comment below. Uh, I hope you liked this video. And thank you for watching, as always. See you in the next one. Oh, and actually, if you want to see the battery temperature after something like this, I'll show you. So, I've been arriving for two hours non-stop. I only stopped for like a few minutes now. And then, hmm, 16 degrees. I started the drive with about 13 to 15 degrees. So the battery temperature didn't rise that much, which is a bit surprising. It didn't go up that much. So, you know what that means? That means it's going to be slow charging from here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.